My injury in Tahiti, you know, at first, I was pretty traumatized by it. Kind of can gauge how bad it is by other people's reactions. People are literally like turning white and running the other way. So I was like, oh my God. But as far as like returning to Tahiti, uh, that took almost two years. So intense and so gorgeous and just, you can get the ride of your life out there if you get the right one. heat for Andy Irons. They cleared the lineup and we're gonna have Bruce come and, and uh, just serve for half an hour in honor of his brother and uh, he invited me and I was completely honored, you know, because Andy was like a brother to me. I was like paddling up over and I almost felt like maybe I could whip and get it, but I thought I was gonna be too late so I just, I, I pulled back and um, I kind of felt like, oh, you know, if Andy was like looking down right now, he'd be, he'd be giving me a hard time like he did when we were kids. So like, I told myself, all right, next, the next set that comes, like, I'm going. And um, so I paddled into it, and I, I, as soon as I took off, like, I could tell, like, this one, for some reason, there was something funky with it, and just, it kind of crumbled, so I kind of had to, like, get come off the bottom again and set up to get in the barrel, and I just kind of shift the way back onto my front foot um, and get, like, back down. And, and right then, I just felt the lip just, just clip my top of my head. like upside down and just right then just pile drive me right to the reef. It, it happened so fast. As I, as I flipped around, I was just like probably processing what, what I had done wrong. And then right then I just felt this super impact and um, intense, intense pain all over my face and my head. And I popped up and um, I was kind of like a little dazed, but I, and I just was in so much pain, I was just kind of like, okay, let's see what we got. And it was, I pulled my hand away and there's just bloodbath everywhere. So I was like, okay, this isn't good. I mean, luckily it was during a WCT event. So they had like water safety and everything in place. You know, they started talking about, okay, we got an ambulance for you. And we're gonna take you to Papiete, which is like the big hospital. It's like two and a half hours away. And I was like, but there's a closer hospital. You know, if I need a couple stitches, like they could do that. And they were like, oh no, no, no the big hospital and I was like really like it's really that bad like really and I think one of the medics took out her iPhone and, and took a picture and showed me and then I was just like oh I like somebody poured gasoline on my face and lit me on fire it just was such an intense pain the the doctors look pretty horrified but they were super sweet and they were like well, we'll fix you up it's gonna be okay they put me under and then they uh, you know they had to pull chunks of coral out of my face I got about I don't know, like 30 or 40 uh, internal stitches, but then like 30 or 40 stitches here on the big, the big opening. And then I had some here, I had some by my mouth, and then I had a big crack in my head that needed about 10 or 15 stitches. So I was a mess, but uh, the, the French surgeon put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, and uh, I jumped on a plane the next day back to Hawaii to recover. It cut through a lot of nerves. It still feels really different. I have like PTSD, you know, from the impact. I, I think I used to part my hair to this side of my face and after the accident I, st I started parting it this way because even just like my hair falling to my face makes me jump. So it's always like a kind of little constant reminder which kind of messes with your head a little bit. You know, surfing waves like pipe and stuff again where it is shallow and you do hit the reef, you know, it, it took a lot to kind of overcome that. returning to Tahiti. Okay, that took almost two years. When I saw that swell I went back for, I was super nervous. I knew I just needed to go do it. I'm so glad I did. It, it, I got the best way of my life. You know, to, to, to have an injury like that and to come back to that place was a huge personal triumph for me. So I was uh, beyond stoked. When stuff like that happens and you're able to overcome that and you're, you're able to go back out there and stand up to your fears and succeed, there's something 
so empowering about that. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's the lesson that I've taken from it all. I, I actually, my hair was long, so it was like, uh, it was over. And people were like, oh, how did you cut your hair? And I was like, <laughs> big old thing there. And I still got a bump on my head to this day.